Hello, this is uh, Marius from Pyramid Software. I'm a partner inside the company and I would like to make a presentation today of the new version Raw Workshop 3.2. This application has evolved, evolved very much in the last year and uh, I think it's time to make um, a general presentation. The application is started. Uh, I will connect to my demo database using a user and password. Right now I have a demo database that is available also on the download editions in demo edition and ultralight edition uh, with 11 profile systems with aluminum PVC and wood profile system. After the application, after login, I can create a new project Rawoshop is able to uh, generate different type of projects. Offer is an estimation that you made to your customers. Production edition is uh, production project is a combination of uh, uh, offers that became ordered and you want to combine in order to make optimization to get better results. Post production project is not yet used. It will be used in the next versions. And window library is um, project that contains window that windows that are already made and uh, you can design use it in the design by simply changing the quotations i will start with an offer project as you can see i have several windows open so far i have project explorer i have the properties window this is my project window in this area with project code, project name, description, another uh, type of information. All this information is optional. On the right top side, I have the project explorer, which will show me what I am working on. Right now I have an empty project and this is the property window based on my selection. The objects will display properties here and I can make changes. So let's get back to our offer project. I have the code and the name. I can complete information about the customer. I can type in the information or I can choose the customer from a database. After that, I have to select the materials I want to set as default materials on the current project. Raw Workshop is able to compute PVC, aluminum and wood. I will work mostly on aluminum because it's it is a material more complex, but the, in the same way you can do windows in PVC or wood, even inside the same project. I have the pro, I have to select the profile system that I want to use. In this case, I will let aluminum profile system. The raw color that I will want to use one zero two six, for example. Type of glass. As soon as I set my default materials, I can add a new component like this. This option is also available if I right click on the project or if I use the project menu. Right now I have a project with one component, but this component is empty. The design sheet is empty. So let's start by selecting the shape. This is the first step when designing a window with uh, Raw Workshop. I can do like this and I get the default shape as a rectangle. You have to understand the way Raw Workshop is designed. This is a design sheet and based on your selection you will see properties here. When I click first time on this frame you can see the entire frame all four sides are selected. The green is the selection color. I have here all the properties of the frame like length, height, type of material, profile system that is used, another type of information. If I want, I can change something by clicking the right property. If I click again on this element, for example, only the bottom part of the frame is selected. So I can make changes only on this element. Also the properties has, have changed. As you can see right now, I can see the element length which is 1000 i can see the cutting angles left and right i can see the profile code for example if i want to design a door with a threshold i would like to change the 
frame on the bottom part with a threshold profile. So all I have to do is to select the bottom part of the frame, scroll down in my frame profiles and select something like this. As you will see, automatically RaoShop changed the cutting uh, pattern of these profiles. In RaoShop, we do, uh, do our best to make our software as user-friendly as possible. So uh, we try to implement as many uh, commands that are uh, familiar to the user. Some of them are undo, redo, and copy-paste. You can copy-paste everything and anywhere, even window design. You can take it from the application and paste it in the Word file, or you can undo any change. So I will undo my change and right now I have the same frame as the other three. RaoShop is able to compute also irregular shapes so I will delete this one and I can add a shape like this one. The list that is here is just the common list of irregular shape but you can access this button here that will allow you to open this window with all types of shapes that RaoShop is able to compute. Every time all you have to do is to select an element and after that change the dimension. You can select the quotation and click something like this. If the design pattern it's not in our list shape there is also a chance that you can design a window with raw workshop if you have the proper edition you have access to a custom shape and you can do something like this design your own shape like this for example let's add a arc height of 200 Okay, and right now I have a window and I can make splittings and uh, edit the quotations, something like this. Let's get back to a simple shape, the rectangle. You can change the properties in the, pro in the property window like 1200. Or you can click on the quotation and edit it on the design sheet. The second step is to add splitters. We have some usual splitters like this. I'm selecting the inner area where the splitter is going to be placed and I can do like this. Or I have also a custom tool that will allow me to do multiple splitting at the same time. Three. Two, and I can obtain something like this. Sorry, I didn't select the inner zone. That's why it put it on a different uh, frame. Okay. Or, no, let's put it like this. Or you can have a custom splitting and you can do like this. Of course you have perfect control of this where this mullion is placed because you have here the both uh, end of the mullion and you can control the quotation where it is uh, going to be placed. Let's delete this and do something that is simpler because I want to do uh, something that is easy to do and it's found often in your uh, estimations. I will keep my vertical mullion. I will change the quotation just to see that it's possible to readjust the mullion. And now I will add the stash. There are different types of wings that you can use. I will add a tilt and turn window. And right now I have my first window. If I want to change something on the sash, for example, all I have to do is select it and go to the properties and change what I'm interested in. For example, I can make it open to the left. Okay. Now I have my first window. Let's add 
quickly some other windows and uh, after that we will go to the report. Let's add for example a door that I want to do like this. Let's change the color on this element. I will change also the fittings plan because I want my software to compute a special um, combination of hardware that is for doors. If I want I can also do something like this and come with a second mullion that is parallel to the third one and here I can do something like this in the middle. Okay. Raoshop is able to compute di different elements, not only windows and doors. So with Raoshop it is able to do also insect screen, all type of insect screen and all type of shutters. So I will add a roller shutter first with this. You need to have a proper profile system in the database, but this is how a roller shutter looks like. And also I will add a roller insect screen like this. Okay, so right now as you can see we have four components inside our project. We can see it also like this. 